Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Faltering Pendulum, a short story by Babani Bhattacharya. The story begins with a rag lady. Rag means our old clothes, stone clothes are called as a rag. Uh, she goes to the Tuesday market and there she barters all the rags which she has collected and uh, purchases two objects. She was not aware that these two objects are going to bring in a great change in her life in a few months. What are those two objects are? The first one is a piece of pumpkin in the shape of a crescent. It's just a slice of the pumpkin and this piece had three ripe pumpkin seeds embedded in them. And another one is a small one month year, one month old goat. Now this rag woman, she goes to her village. Her village is in Bengal and uh, it is almost dusk. She holds the pumpkin slice in one hand and uh, she holds the goat in the crook of her arm in the other hand. This goat is a white goat which has beautiful black edges about the eyes as though it has applied kajal. Now, the goat which is under her arm in one hand tries to sniff the pumpkin so that it can eat it and its tongue is just rolling out. The woman slaps the face of the goat and says, Have you no shame? Have you no feeling? Are you nothing but a fool goat? She thinks that the goat is really stupid because her plan is to grow a pumpkin vineyard but the goat is trying to eat it. And uh, it is just the early hours and she can imagine her three pumpkin seeds growing into a beautiful outspread of vines and producing beautiful, lovely gold yellow flowers. And all these flowers, like a mother producing young, beautiful pumpkins, which will grow big and enormous. And uh, she feels that even the pumpkins come out from these vineyards, she will get a fulfillment in her. We will see what is that fulfillment in the later uh, passage. Now, this uh, yeah, rag woman looks at this young goat and thinks, in fact, she even openly says, are you nothing but a fool goat? Meaning, don't you know anything? Now, she is uh, an old lady. Her white hair is tied as a pretty bun on top. And uh, due to her age, she is stooped. Her frame is slightly stooped and she is known for her temper. She has a very bad temper and a very sharp tongue and she curses everyone who are around there. And um, in, uh, in fact, she brought this pumpkin and the goat so that she'll have someone along with her because she has no one to live with her, no one to give consolation to her, no one to share her feelings except the rags. These rags she collects from door to door and that is how she earns her living up. And she is only filled with the smell of the rags and nothing else. And now she wants someone to be with her. And she feels that after purchasing this pumpkin seeds and the goat, uh, some strange feeling gets into her. She is very, very happy. She feels that her loneliness will be uh, like she can keep away her loneliness. And she knows very well people don't talk with her only because of her temper. And she decides that hereafter she must know how to laugh at things and not get angry. And as she is coming towards her village, she comes near a mango grove. And now she tells to herself to keep calm, not to get angry, not to get triggered. She keeps on saying, keep calm. The goat now says, bah. And then she looks at the goat and says, what are you trying to do? You fool goat. But the goat in a very soft and murmuring tone, in a very pity tone, it says moo. And the woman is really surprised. She looks at the goat and she says, He knows. He understands my feeling. He is not a fool, foolish goat as I think. Now she thinks, Now how am I to hold my temper against these young devils? These young devils are the young boys who play in the village. Now they are going to come and pester me. And she says, No one can tolerate their uh, way of behavior. And, the, and already she is a person who is filled with temper and a sharp tongue. So she keeps walking very fast so that she can pass that mango group uh, unseen. But 
the boys see her and they start calling her rag hag rag means stone clothes and all that hag is a word which generally it's a colloquial word for uh, old people and they do this only to tease her and this lady keeps telling to herself keep still don't get angry don't get angry don't say anything just keep moving but these boys keep shouting oh rag hag's got a puppy and everyone starts saying, uh, saying rag hag's got a puppy she gets angry and she says this is not a puppy it's a goat but they keep continuing saying little white puppy now this rag hag has got a puppy and they come running to her sir as though they were going to dash on her but they just run away and this woman really loses her temper she holds her goat and says a goat can't you see properly had the maggots eat in your eyeballs but the youngsters don't listen to what she says they only keep on shouting saying that rag hag's puppy will not walk it will ride on her and all that and they shout and they race they run like a horse near her and she loses her control and she starts cursing them saying that your tongue will rot vultures will peck at your bones and all that but these boys only make fun of her and they call her mad hag and they run away now this woman after cursing them also seeing them behaving this way she gets more angry she starts picking up stones and throwing at those boys and she curses more she says the womb that bore you will be dead wood meaning that your mother will not be able to produce another child and she keeps on throwing these stones at them but they only shout at her escaping the stones and keep running away and the woman loses all her strength but she keeps on shouting she says yeah, let this stone break your skull and she says let your mouth uh, spit blood and she keeps on throwing and she becomes very tired but she has to go home so she continues her walking and then she understands her temper has gone out of her control she she feels ashamed then she looks at the goat and says you saw you saw how my anger came out from my belly and the bo- and the animal says mm and she surprised she asks the goat you heard me then you should have heard me cursing the children and she curses her own filthy tongue she says mine is a filthy tongue i i wanted to tear it from its root and the goat in a very sympathetic um, way pleads saying moo and she feels oh he understands he feels me he is not a foolish goat and she hugs the animal so tightly and she feels that there is a fullness in her empty heart and eyes starts watering she feels so very comfortable and then a new life starts for her she begins her kinship with the young goat she patters him all day and she tells to him whatever is in her mind now till date she has not had anyone to listen to her because of a bad temper no one comes near her and they are also afraid of her tongue but this goat listened to her it answered her and listened again and she was so filled with joy and the three pumpkin seeds sprouted and the vine spread out but one seed died but the others two other two seeds grew very fast and the rag woman collected the pellets of the animals dung every day and she mingled it with the soil so that the pumpkin will grow richer and she only hoped that the pumpkin will feed on that dung and just like how the goat listens to her the pumpkin um, vineyards also will listen to her and she knows that definitely the pumpkin is not going to answer her like the goat it will not be able to say ba or ma but it can answer her by swaying of the tendril or the swing of the leaf and somehow she felt very close to the vine and uh, in that remote bengal village she has not had anyone to be with her but as this pumpkin was growing she felt something growing inside her a sort of fulfillment so she divided her time between the animal and her pumpkin and one day the fine day came the first bloom of the pumpkin came out and the women were so thrilled the gold yellow bloom fruits she could see she knew it is seeds then flowers then fruit then seeds again from the fruit this is the complete cycle and she was so very happy but what happened is the fruits did not come the flower died and she knew that this will happen in the early stage so she should not be worried but what happened is this cycle continued the flowers will bloom out they will glitter but they will die and no pumpkins showed 
every day the women will go and scan and see she will lift all the leaves and see if there is any pumpkin hidden under and all that but waste she understood it's barren barren means something which is not able to produce its offspring is called as barren and she understood that both the pumpkin seeds were barren and she was really trembling she sank down on her knees she knocked her head on the earth and she felt everything what she expected has gone away she felt that she was tricked by the pumpkin seeds her dream was shattered for she herself was a barren one she was widowed in a middle age and when she lived with her husband she was not able to bear a child she was all dead wood inside and she thought that she can enter through this pumpkin and when the pumpkins are uh, born in the plant she thought she will get that sense of fulfillment but the pumpkin had tricked her and she started thinking maybe whatever she touches that also will become barren now her temper came back it came back um, harsher than earlier and her tongue renewed its razor edge razor edge means a knife with both the sides being very sharp and at that time only some folly came upon the goat and one day the goat became rest- restless and irritated her she tried to calm it because it was trying to go and eat the leaves of the vine first she asked it to keep away but the goat only answered her challengingly and mockfully and after a short time it started going there and again nibbling the vine again now this time the women warned it and dragged it away but within half an hour the goat came back again to the vineyard and started eating the leaves now the women lost her temper she went to the goat she said dare you and she clutched the goat's throat with both her hands like a claw and she pressed hard and gritting her gappy teeth she kept on pressing harder and harder and shouting dare you dare you and she did it for some time and when her fingers loosened the goat just dropped limply on the mud floor yes the goat was dead the women had throttled her pet scared she shook the body but it was dead she called the animal's name again and again but it was dead she saw whether the breath was there it was not there she understood it is dead she sat in a daze and finally tears began pouring down her cheeks and she started shouting my goat my goat and hearing her cry all her neighbors came there they tried to revive the goat they splashed water on its face but it was dead then they tried to comfort the women they told her that she buy they will buy her a new goat they will buy a new pet from the next market but the women bet her breast knocked her head on the floor and kept on crying my goat my goat the day passed and it was only one hour before dusk a girl a young girl came running to her and this lady she was lying on a bed crying and the girl called out the vines two little pumpkins like ducks egg and actually what had happened is in the village everyone knew that these pumpkin vines were barren but this girl uh getting the chance because the women was inside crying she had gone and explored the pumpkin vines on her own and now she has come to say the glad news to the rag women and the rag women looked up in puzzlement and she understood what this girl was saying she got up she did not even wipe her cheeks she tottered and she went after the girl and the girl took her to the pumpkin vines and she showed look and immediately the rag woman gri- uh, gripped her hand and she said no 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 you should not point your fingers at the younglings of the pumpkin because that will make them to shrivel and fade they will only grow unripe things the fruit will not grow the flower will die even the buds all will die don't point at it because this is the nature's way and she looked there the girl also nodded and closed her fingers tight because she knew that without her knowledge she may point out again now actually the goat had cleared up the thick patches of the leaves on a stripped tendril and there a tiny pumpkin was hanging and within a yard away another one was hanging the ragman wondered how did she miss them and even in a deep anguish now her face though it was tear faced it beamed the goat was dead and it was buried in the floor nearby 
and the mud was like a heap in the ground but the pumpkin vines had sprung to fruitful life after they had been barren for a long time now a balance was achieved the faltering pendulum had regained its swing it's a beautiful story by babani patacharya if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and support thank you